the father absence crisis in America. This is the real hook. When you remove the father, you destroy the family. When you destroy the family, you destroy the culture. This is a direct side effect, equal and opposite of what feminism is. Can't argue me down. I'm not going forward. There's nothing you can say to change my mind. I've seen it. I coached women's basketball at college. The biggest thing that they pushed was Title IX, which made zero sense when you applied it to logic. You were like, what? Oh, women get to play in the big stadium, but there's 100 people in there. <laughs> Why are we playing in an empty arena? Why don't we put them in a the small gym? Oh, no, well, we get to play in the big arena because the, the men are playing in there. Yeah, they got 20,000 people screaming in there. Okay, look at the attendance. Why does that make sense? Oh, well, because it's equal. See, that's dumb. What's happening when you remove the father? Kid grows up in poverty. Kid more likely to be pregnant as a teen. Behavioral problems, child abuse, incarceration. 72% of the in people incarcerated grew up single mother household. Single mothers are heroes. Yeah, I did too. I grew up in a single mother household, never went to jail, but based on that statistic, I'm the anomaly, anomaly. okay? I made it. So you can always point to the person who made it and say, well, that, that person made it, doesn't matter. Child obesity, more likely to be fat, more likely to commit a crime, two times likely to drop out of school. Then you get this beta male energy. I call it beta male lives matter or black lesbians matter. That's what I call it, because it's the truth. 